we're back with Pillows and Blankets, Season 3, Episode 14 of Community Time. Woo! It's a continuation! It's a continuation. I'm excited. It's already started way different. A Greendale campus television. Oh my god, you fuckers don't even know. Y'all don't even know! This is like Guinness World Record there already. Smash, smash the space bar. Smash the space bar. Okay, before I do it, guys, it's not a market substitute. Watch this on Hulu. Support the official release. Nope. Check out our Patreon. We have several early access options. Our two. But, you know, several episodes ahead on one of them. And we're going to start the show. Marquetta was almost a substitute teacher. Would have, would have made her a Marquetta substitute. <laughs> what? Market substitute. Between two Sorry. groups of people who want to make inconsistent kinds of worlds, I see no remedy but force. This is cool. Oliver yeah. Wendell Holmes. <laughs> the winter is here. Turn it up, dog. The winter is here. And I started swinging, and then I hit something and heard someone fall. <laughs> Could have been somebody from my side. Like a Shane Dawson video. Greendale Community College was the site of the largest and longest pillow fight in community college history. It oh the my god. The and forever changed the lives of those involved. Is it a mockumentary? Yeah. It's like Ken Burns. <laughs> who turned the story to a sanctuary for soldiers with broken glasses and lightly grazed testicles. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know this voice I actor too. Keith David. Yeah, yeah. His borrowed camera would capture some of the war's blurriest, most poorly framed moments. <laughs> Most poorly framed moment. Whose words would inspire tens of students to take up pillows and fight a loving wife and mother who would prove to be as skilled at kicking asses as she was at wiping them. The dried up heir to a moist towelet empire who would prove to be the dried up heir to a moist towelet <laughs> empire. The sensitive high school quarterback who became commander in chief of his own army. He would later say of the war, it was awesome, but also it wasn't. <laughs> An uncompromising tactical mastermind feared by all, yet unable to pay parking tickets or no left from right without mouthing the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> their friendship would carry their school into a conflict lasting days, costing hundreds of dollars, and resulting in over 12 transfers. We have got to watch Ken Burns documentary. This is hilarious. So it was a pillow fight, to which I say you weren't a cutter. Is this on like the History Channel? Yeah, like Ken Burns does these yeah. great documentaries and they're just like this. <laughs> What's with the film crew? That if there's one thing I've learned at this place is that a film crew means disaster. <laughs> Document Greendale's Guinness record, which yep. you are going to make sure we get by talking to Troy and Abed right now. Okay, I've got good news for both of you. Neither of you has to apologize because what you're doing is equally ridiculous. So, here's the solution I'm pitching. I'm giving you two imaginary friendship hats that automatically make you friends again. Are we done? Sorry, Jeff, but this matter is a little more serious than that. No, it's not. You're kidding. <laughs> like I mean, it's fine, but just don't pretend it's anything but that. This is the fucking moving, like... Friends textile. so close, they once graced the cover of Friends Weekly, a pretend magazine of their own design. Earlier that day, they begin construction on a fort made of pillows. It's goal to be a newer, fluffier town than Fluffy Town, their blanket fort from the previous year. Mm -hmm. New Fluffy Town didn't care who you were. You were surrounded by softness. <laughs> it's just like crawling through a hug. I guess all hugs have to come to an end. Aww. Did he just show up last <laughs> episode? <laughs> yes. It creates a rift. Troy wants to go for the record, using blankets for rapid expansion. Abed insists on pillows, declaring world records to be dumb. Troy declares the declaration lame, <laughs> stating that thinking records are dumb is stupid. He secedes from New Fluffy <laughs> Map. Blanketsburg. This is great. This is great. Blanketsburg. Both forts expand until both are in each other's way. Things quickly reach their boiling point. Stand back. Watch it, Starburns. <laughs> a shot heard around the world. Collides with a load-bearing broomstick, collapsing a queen-size section. <laughs> Saw so that they knocked it down. Oh, Jeffrey! Oh, Jeffrey, find me! The study room kerfuffle. <laughs> kerfuffle! Uh, yes! The fucking kerfuffle! That's my favorite word. Kerfuffle is a group of people named Chris. Pillow Town has until midnight tonight to surrender its territory. It's a the United Forts of Pillow Town declines the request. It's not a request. I'm giving you an ultimato. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Ultimato or else. Or else what? Ultimato. Ultimato. <laughs> You at midnight. Do people go to classes? <laughs> <laughs> Divides friends. <laughs> oh my god, I love these flags. I know, this is amazing. Bennett decides her weirder and more formal. Need to stay with my boy to make sure Britta doesn't put him on the weed. <laughs> and the weed. Troy appoints Shirley Bennett as his second in command, at which point Pierce switches to. <laughs> 
There were those who thought that midnight might come and go and nothing would happen. Bucket of guts, Rodriguez. Vietnam War? And I knew the sound of crap when I was about to hit the fan. Midnight comes and a cat holds this breath. There's a lot of us from the scene in between saying, hey, we're all looking to chill out and lay down with someone special. This is real Neil. Neil! Signing off with the smooth sounds of daybreak. Wait, did you hear that? Oh my god! What the hell is that? Oh no! Surprise attack. Soldiers charge a pillow fort in the library. The Pelotonians move quickly. <laughs> the Pelotonians! There were no wounds in that first battle. You hit someone and they went down. You... What? Like what? Call that common courtesy. What, what are the blanket people hitting with? Keep hitting them. Off they learn to stay down. We call that common sense. <laughs> <laughs> sure, they're just beat that. Six minutes. No territory changes hands. Blanketsburg has drawn first blood. Pillow Town will draw first blood, part two. Citizens of Blanketsburg, <laughs> I ask you now to prepare for war. The fucking pictures. I ask you Nail it. To please fix the microphone on my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking awesome. God. The United Forts of Pillow Town and the legit Republic of. <laughs> Legit Republic. Kick down and replace the other. The unmoving line between them is a campus-wide, fleece-laden strip of pillow-to-pillow -pillow combat. <laughs> Britta Perry attempts to capture the war's sublime indignities on film. Unfortunately for Britta, <laughs> just because something is in black and white doesn't mean it's... <laughs> Outside the science lab at the Battle of Big Bulletin Board, Pierce Hawthorne suffers broken glasses, a hurt finger, and erectile dysfunction. What? <laughs> Had never happened ever before that battle. <laughs> Pillows, but no sleep. Feathers, but no birds. Pajamas without children. Violence without purpose. What? I saw mommy kissing Exxon Mobil. What? Amanda Johnson, poet by choice. Lesbian by birth. What the fuck? <laughs> Who's Amanda Johnson? Lesbian by choice, poet. Yeah. Soldiers of Pillow Town. Yeah. Soldiers of Blanketsburg. Soldiers of Blanketsburg. We fight not because we want war. We fight. Let's give a test. That we might gain peace. Yeah! Winner's critics suggest he we merely improvised hot button patriotic dogma in a Ferris Bullerian attempt to delay school. <laughs> Ferris Bullerian. The accusation as, quote, a slanderous betrayal akin to 9 11. <laughs> Later, after the war, he would refer to the theory as essentially accurate. <laughs> text conversations with Jeff Wing. Gatorade. What the fuck? Jeff, heard from one of Troy's soldiers about a speech you gave to troops at the blanket fort. Wish this war could be over, but proud of you for taking a stance. Thank you, Annie. I'm proud of you, too, and of us all. Also wish the nightmare would end, but using what I'm given to give what I can. Jeff, just heard from one of Abed's soldiers that you gave an identical speech to troops at Pillow Town. WTF. Sad <laughs> Okay, you caught me. I prefer war to homework. How do you do that little thumb icon? I can't find it on my phone. Jeff, you're disgusting. Troy and Abed's friendship is at stake. You can buy special icons and packages. <laughs> sushi, birthday cake, stop sign, snowman, umbrella. No. <laughs> what does that mean? You know people actually do communicate like that nowadays. Yep. I know. I've been working on something. Look at this. I love the pillow hats. You can build this. I hope to God we'll never have to use it. <laughs> Troy Barnes will take no chances. He turns to Ben Chang. Where has he been in all this? Security. Rumored to be literally. I'm watching you. Of course, I burned through some fucking love in. <laughs> Molly out of his mind. <laughs> oh my god. All oh, the security kids. Recruited an army of preteen security interns while moonlighting at a local bar mitzvah. They were later nicknamed the Chang Glorious Bastards. <laughs> Bastards. Under advice from his top general, Abed sees no choice but to unleash his doomsday device. Oh, shit. You're gonna die, you little <laughs> bastards! Dang. Oh my god, it's Pierce. Part man, part pillow. It's fucking oh, Michelin Man. Oh, wow. Oh my god, that's so fucked up. <laughs> Plus juggernaut. Let's go. Oh, that's so fucked up. War won't stop with first blood part two. How many times those kids gonna get beat up? <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the fucking best. Troy's forces intercept an email written by Abed to his commanders, outlining Troy's weaknesses. Troy will hold on until he's broken emotionally. <laughs> this will not be hard. He gets distracted by loud noises, color red, smooth jazz, shiny things, food smells. 
<laughs> He's insecure about his level of intelligence. Oh, damn. His greatest vulnerability of all is his emotional frailty. It's incredibly easy to make him cry, and he's incredibly ashamed of that fact. Get away! <laughs> Pictured here lying down. Troy does not take Abed's email lying down. <laughs> hey, Dick, you may have been my best friend, but we both know I was your first friend. Oh. What I know, but you don't know, because you have mental issues, is that you're never going to have another friend. Damn, this shit is getting too Nobody real. Nobody else will ever have my patience with you, Troy Barnes. Oh my god. Oof. Word got around these two were now hurting each other's feelings. Thought about what Annie said, and then I thought about what I might do to make things right. At 8 p.m. of the second night, both sides are honoring an agreed-upon ceasefire so that the infantry can watch the hit TV show Ski, Shoot, Sing, a combination biathlon singing competition, which was no fun to watch. <laughs> Then you'd be the last to know who won. What the fuck? Abed to a secret summit meeting. This has to stop. Tell him. Me? What about your email? You weren't supposed to see that. You weren't supposed to think those things. Guys, you didn't used to be like this. You were Troy and Abed. Things used to be easy. He's right. Our friendship is dead. <gasps> What? What? Yeah, I think we should agree right now that whoever wins this war can stay in the apartment. Loser has to find a new place. Agreed. Oh my, oh my god. I mean, yeah. Why is this happening? Uh, well, that didn't work. Battle of Greendale, oh fuck. Oh shit. This is it. The North Cafeteria, named after Admiral William North. <laughs> In the <laughs> what? The I think I have seen the one that did the Revolutionary War. Like, didn't they do the like, cover war? Shut up. Too? The South Wall. It is the most contested. Named after William South. Next to the English Memorial Spanish Center. Yeah. It's named after English Memorial. Oh my God. <laughs> While looking for a fountain that cured syphilis. <laughs> Troy redirects most of his infantry to the cafeteria. Just after dawn, the end of the I war begins. You. Whoa! <laughs> I would not go against Shirley. Yeah, I know. That's... Which side is Shirley on? She's on uh, Troy's side. Yeah. This is probably fun as fuck to film. Mm -hmm. then I actually had to get these photos and shit, too. Big Troy! Oh, shit! Oh, dear lord. Man. Did they get the pillow, Michelin Man? How does this end? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead, I'm dead. Well, that's it. I just heard from the Guinness rep. He's not coming. He's been fired. What a colossal waste of two and a half days. The war has no more reason to continue, and yet it does. Between the two that began it. Come on, Brennan. Still can't take a good picture. This is gonna be the last thing we ever do together. You can't stop. Aww. <laughs> Doesn't that kind of solve your problem? The realization that you like each other so much, you'd hit each other with pillows forever? Knowing that doesn't feel like enough anymore. We're grown-ups now. We have grown-up problems. That's very <laughs> Unless you use those magical friendship hats that I got for you. I'm not stupid, Jeffrey. You know, you made those sarcastically. Yes, yes. And I will roll my eyes at both of you when I put them on your heads, because that's the way I am. But that's not the way you have to be. Vertical. <laughs> we might be interested. Here's your magical friendship hat. And Jeff. What? You left the magical friendship hats at the dean's office. I'll go get them. So Jeff went out, and he stayed out long enough to make them believe he had gone back to the office. It was a nice touch. <laughs> and he's crushing so fucking hardcore. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Britta Perry is oh. there to immortalize the moment on wow, film. Oh, she did it! Accidentally, while trying to get a picture of the light hitting a stack of nearby walls. Oh, my God. Here's, take that. Oh, I can't hear you. Your cheeks are in the way. <laughs> I could have just walked around the corner and then come back, but for some reason, they actually went all the way back to where they were supposed to be. One was crumpled up a bit. Oh, oh Jeff, look at you. I fixed him up. That is where they threw him. Because I settled on a truth today. That's always going to be. Oh, he's ready. ready to do Anything for my friends, which I think is how everyone in the world feels, which finally makes me understand war. I wasn't going to show this to anyone, but uh, it's pretty profound. I kind of nailed it. If you want, I can read it in the documentary. That is, unless you get Tom Hanks. We tried to get Tom Hanks, but he's too expensive. <laughs> you can't get Troy and Abed, pillows and blankets. Or any of these other great specials, like Craig Pelton, A Year in Paris. From oh. Labs to Riches, The Annie's Boob Story. Mm -hmm. Or That's Entertainment. Folks, we know that's that's entertainment. I, I spent $200 on that. I would. But if you want to help us out, if you want to oh help Greendale Campus Television. Can, can we, we do that? <laughs> can we send a toll-free toll line? Toll-free. <laughs> <laughs> like, we can talk you through signing up on Can Patreon. we sell our skits on, like, DVDs? <laughs> Like Golden the, edition. The famous Mickey's mustache getting shit. Ah, that was a good one. <laughs>
Guys, what'd you think about that episode? That was the fucking documentary style vibe was, was it great. was super funny I wanted they to went all out for it yeah like the the photos I, I wonder how behind the scenes they actually did it like if they filmed they just filmed it and then like actually took those professional photos or if they knew exactly what photos they were going to use like when they were doing it you know what I mean mm, I think that they both filmed it and had a photographer take yeah. pictures yeah and they picked the photos and then yeah that must have this must have been a fun episode to shoot too I love the one that was like a still image of uh, Shirley and she was like ah! <laughs> Fucking, what she, what's her name? What was her name? Gut, gut, oh no. Big, uh, damn, I already forgot it. I know. It was her nickname that she bullied Big Jeff. Big Guts or something? She bullied Jeff with, made him pee, playing pool, playing billiards. I don't remember that. Big Cheddar. Big Cheddar. Big Cheddar. Yeah. yeah. Big Guts. Oh yeah, I'd stay away from Yvette Nicole Brown in real life too with those pillows. She'd probably deck someone in the face. Uh huh, yeah. <laughs> I liked how they did this episode, because last episode, this continuing that last episode, but in different, you know, form. Yeah. And, Whatever. I'm surprised they didn't they didn't act, uh, mention the the vice dean though since he's the one that kind of perpetuated Inside it. it. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they can only afford John Goodman like now and then because he's a phenomenal actor. I'm surprised they even like got him on this. I like, this is before he really hit his iconic heights. Yeah. Or legendary status. We we're talking about how John Goodman wasn't in it. He's the one that kind of incited the war. Yeah. I think that's all they wanted. There was two things. I think. Runner. So what is the what is the documentary series called? Uh, it's Ken Burns Civil War. Yeah, it's uh it's really fucking good. It's got like Morgan Freeman in it, I want to say. Yeah, and Keith David kind of has that like sophisticated old black man voice. So yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. get Keith David for it. We can't afford Morgan Freeman, but yeah, the Ken Burns documentary is really good, and this is done just like it. Like Ken Burns has that effect where he posts on a photo and then like moves across it. Like it's it's good shit. Good like period. The, the the text titles that are like slightly jiggling around. Like, yeah. <laughs> It's funny. So, like, oh, they did, like, the American Revolution and stuff, too, right? Or yeah, like, he oh. does, uh, Ken Burns has a bunch. He's got, like, jazz. He does one on jazz. He does one on, uh, a recent one on Vietnam that's really good. Okay, yeah, because I, uh, I don't know if I saw one in school. It's been, has it been around for, like, a, a good minute? Oh, forever. Like, when we were in school, they taught us that thing where you take a photo and you slowly zoom it in. They were like, mm, this is called the Ken Burns effect, so. Oh. It's been around for a minute. Damn. Nice. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I saw one of these documentaries in school. There was yeah. just a lot of familiarity to it. Like, even, like, any PBS documentary. Yeah, that, I mean, that's why they're, they're always yeah. doing PBS, pretty much. PBS. So. I used to love PBS. Yeah. Yeah. This one is so good. It's such a good episode. I'll, whenever they do the parody ones, they do them so fucking perfect. Yeah, and I was wondering how they were going to do another, like, documentary-style thing. Because we've seen at least, like, four times now, I think. Yep. Like, in the whole series. So, like, I don't know. It's, it's not getting old to me. Like, I love how no, Jeff no. is like, I see a film crew, and I always know disaster <laughs> All of them were funny in this episode, like all their roles in the in the documentary, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's hilarious. All their sticks. Like, Shirley always is a being a badass. She's freaking like a Terminator. Jeff is in the back, just like taping all this. And he's just like like pushing someone like, <laughs> like no, no, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Chang, his little Chang assassins. The Chang glory. The Chang glory is Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, these I'm episodes are fun, and I appreciate those it. Those kids get their ass beat every time they do something. I uh, I really enjoy everything that has like narration. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like my favorite thing. And I remember uh, again the Dungeons and Dragons episode where the narrator was the uh, you know the janitor lady. Oh yeah, it's like <laughs> good night. <laughs> I I cracked up when I don't know what the exact quote was in this one, but the picture was like Troy, and he was like. Like Commander in Chief Troy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this is some big like epic scale thing. Like I don't know. It was just it's it's so funny the way they they do these like micro storylines, but like make it like some Standard, big epic thing. Yeah. Like, Does anyone go to school here? <laughs> Does you anyone go to classes? That's what I like too. Like at first it was a community college thing, but now it's so far down the line. It's so abstract that they can have a two parter about blankets and pillows. <laughs> And, like, you're fucking invested. You're like, I'm here. Like, I'm here for yeah, this. Let's go. I loved how they did the uh, costumes. Like, how they... It looked <laughs> like the, um... The South pillow fort was more like... Looked like Asian, you know? Like how yeah, they, they had, had the little pillow hats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, the, and then the North was more like... Like, like Arabic, Arabs. like they had the, like... Yeah, yeah. The like sashes the and shit. The blank, <laughs> God! Blanketonians. <laughs> I'm glad Troy was, like, the blanket and... And the oven was the... Yeah. The hat, because that would look so completely different funny. Yeah. Uh, there was some serious shade thrown there in the middle, and uh, yeah, they, I think they needed to get like some things off their chest. They're so they're so close and stuff. Everybody, everybody fights. They're roommates, especially. I was about to say it's real tough to be roommates with somebody and not get into it with them. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mickey, I'm just kidding. I hate. I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> you guys aren't roommates. <laughs> you guys bad. are technically roommates. Yeah, if nice. you sleep with your roommate, you're not roommates. <laughs> yeah. Unless it's like a bunk bed situation. Well, then I guess Mickey's not my roommate. I'm hey! Oh, oh, shut up! Roll the dice. Evens, <laughs> tops. <laughs> Odds is bottoms. <laughs> on that note, no, uh, did we miss anything? No, it was a fun episode. All the people doing that, yeah, Britta yeah. fucking taking awful pictures. Yes. How can you be that bad at framing? Like, <laughs> it's on. Britta. She's awesome. She's trying to shoot and film and just flubbing it. It's in Flub. black and white. Hey, uh, shooting and film is hard. It is. Hey. I love how she like bent the can. The can. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do that. Fucking Britta. And I think again they used. She Britta. Uh, she Britta it. Chevy Chase as a uh, as a tank. Yeah, and like maybe they, he was being a pain in the butt again, so they kind of put him in the pillows. So yeah, he gave him a voiceover on set because that probably wasn't actually him. Oh, no, that man. was definitely not. Him. Season three is one of my. I, it's like for for me, season three has like the most memorable episodes. This one, the uh, different dimensions one. Which yeah, is, that one is top quality. Oh man, it's just like Dan Harmon shining, man. Uh, the Glee episode. The, even the ones that oh I missed last God. time, they're, they're all pretty, the pretty fun. Yeah. Was, was that the Christmas one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah where Eddie's like, boop, 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 sex. sex. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, when this came out, uh, there became this thing on uh, Tumblr where every time there was like, um, a, a, like Annie's boobs were in a shot, they would put a gif of it. On Tumblr, there's a oh whole Tumblr God. like dedicated to this, and then That's so the showrunners found yeah, out. They were like, text they were like, they were like, we're gonna, they were like, like, started putting it in there. So like the Christmas one where she's like super low cut and like trying to be sexy, they're like, this one's gonna get a million hits. <laughs> and like Annie was down, like Allison Brie was like, yeah, let's do it. Like fuck, like <laughs> That's fun. They're gonna go out of the way. We're just gonna keep doing it. Cool. <laughs> well, guys, boobs. We, uh, Annie's boobs is still somewhere in the vent. You can see them for real glow. You can't see them for real and glow. So first season, second episode. Second episode. Damn, Damn right? Are you taking index? You missed your skin now? <laughs> <laughs> page to page. Well, guys. Now that we're well off the tracks. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Shout out to the joke from the last episode. Not this one, but the Britta unfiltered. I thought that was yeah. funny. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't like Brittas in general. I don't think they're really filtered. What? Yeah. Well, no, they are. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta replace the filter, though. Nah, every, man. Every nah. Months. They're nasty. You're a fucking crazy person. I'm just really <laughs> OCD, bro. How have you made it this far in life being I really so don't picky? Know. I don't I'm no, I'm not that that picky. I eat I eat every, almost everything. I'm not like I eat all my veggies and fruits. I'm happy with my food. Alright. Yeah. Fair enough. Well guys, on that note, <laughs> check out the next batch of episodes on Patreon. We haven't watched them yet, but they're available for you right now. Yep. Unless you guys have the pleasure. You are already a patron, and if you are, thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, make, you make us happen. Thank uh, you guys. Like this video, comment below. Hop in our Discord, damn it! You don't need There's to be a supporter. Discord fan. <laughs> Tell us how much you want us to do more skits because yeah. that helps us actually. Yeah. Do Come hang out and we'll win this glow. Discord. It's been like, four hundred days <laughs> since our last skit. Four hundred days. I don't remember our last skit. <laughs> anyway, bye. 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 <laughs> Thanks for watching a little bit of community with the normies. Tell us in the comments if you are on Team Pillow Town or Team Blanketsburg. Early access and uncut content from the normies is available on Patreon. And shout out to super patrons Luis, Tamor, Quasi, Toy Soldier, Benjamin, Joe, Keyboard Junkie, Robert, NYR fan, Joey, and Philip. See you next week.